Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg. Today we're going to take a look at Zombie Infection, Gameloft's newest title for the iPhone. It is available for $6.99 in the iTunes App Store, and let me say it is awesome. If you're a fan of Resident Evil, this game is very similar. It plays super smooth. The graphics and sound are amazing. Let's check it out. I'm going to launch the game. There are a bunch of options. I've already started a game, but I think for the sake of this review, I'm going to show you it from the beginning. But there are several levels of difficulty that you can choose from. You've got easy, normal, and hard. You also have some settings as far as how you're going to control um, the game itself and sound and language, of course. We're not going to get into all that now. Let's get right into the game itself and we'll start playing. So I'm going to erase my game that's currently in progress just so you guys can see you know, the game from the beginning. Like I said, I've already been playing it for a little while. This app just hit the App Store, I think, yesterday. So the story is kind of you're uh, in Brazil and you're fighting these zombies. We're not going to get through all the backstory now. I really want to show you, you know, how the gameplay actually is. So there's a bunch of videos and you can see right away how good the graphics are. Of course, they're the videos. So in the beginning, you go through a tutorial on, you know, how to actually move around and all that. And you have this person that kind of talks to you. So you use your finger to control your mu the movement um, back and forth as you're looking around. And there's a joystick to move forwards. And um, you start out with a pistol. You can see up in the upper right-hand corner, there's a map that shows you kind of where your destination is and where you need to go. And you can use that to kind of move around. And you also see these glowing kind of cubes or circles that you know you need to follow that kind of guide you along and you will see those in the game because it does get kind of confusing um, some of the graphics are you know they do kind of blend together and it is a little bit hard to see but so there's an example of where I need to go it kind of just you know moves you along the game so in these first few stages it's just showing you you know how to you, you know use the controls um, for example how to break open a crate and find things inside that time there wasn't anything other times there might be um, but there's more, one more of those glowing things so let me kind of just fast forward through this and get through you know the more exciting aspects of the game all right, so I've kind of advanced into the actual game playing mode. And you can see here is my pistol. When I want to fire it, I click on it, and now it brings up a laser sight, which I can use to move around. When I want to fire, simply fire. I can holster it by pressing the holster button. I also have a punch icon that when I'm running low on ammo, which is indicated up here, it shows me how much ammo I have. You pick up additional ammo as you go. Um, I can also punch the zombies. There's a little arrow up there that tells me the direction I need to go. And uh, let's kind of start moving along the game. And here comes one of the zombies right now about to try to kill me. And let's see if I can do this through the camera. Takes, like I said, three or four shots depending on where you're hitting them. And when they're killed all the way, I just reload it automatically. You'll see that they fully disintegrate. But sometimes, like I said, you'll kill one or you think you've killed one and it won't actually be dead. It'll still be on the ground moving. I can go pick up that ammo that's right there. When you're near an object to pick up, simply tap on the hand, it shows up and you can actually pick it up. So let's see if I, this guy looks like he's probably dead. Okay, that's not actually a zombie, so I can't kill him. So, continue onward through the game. Again, you know, it gets obviously more complicated as you go, but like I said, the graphics in this game are truly amazing. Um, better than any of that I've seen so far, really, for a third-person shooter. Um, it's really uh, remarkable what they've done here. Here is a door that I need to open. Again, when I go over to the door, I'll holster my weapon. I can push it open to open. Look inside, then there's a little movie that plays. You can see the graphics, like I said, as good as any game I've seen on the iPhone so far. See if I can kill this guy real quick before he gets me. And I killed him and he disintegrated. Headshots kill um, the zombies much faster. And then you can see I have to maneuver through this area. And there should be those little glowing, there's one right there to kind of lead me through. There's another one. And you know, you do have other interaction with other characters. Um, there's somebody, that guy right there is talking to me right now. You can see um, there's a hand, so I know I need to, you know, do that action to get through. And now I've got more zombies coming after me, which I can try to shoot. The sound, which you can't really hear right now, is very good. You like, you hear your footsteps. You know, the gunfire sounds very good. Here's a crate, which I can bust open, and there was some ammo inside. I can then take it. So, oh, some more zombies coming to get me. Here's the, you know, the punching. When I don't want to use my gun, I can actually 
you know, just punch someone. Your health is shown up in the upper right hand corner, which might be hard to see, but it's up there above the map. And you can pick up med packs as you go um, to kind of um, boost your health if you're going to die. Um, and that helps you play the game as well. So, again, brief look at this game from Gameloft, $6.99. If you're into the zombie and the third person shooter style game, I highly suggest you grab it. It's an awesome game. I've only been playing it for a little while, but I am totally hooked on it. So, that is it for me. If you have any questions about this or anything else, Feel free to drop me a line. Otherwise, you have a great day.